Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. We made it to Hawaii. We are actually in Maui. Maui is gonna be our first stop on our trip. We're gonna be in Hawaii for two weeks. Maui for one week and then Oahu for the second week. And we arrived in Maui pretty late last night. I think we got to the airport just after seven and then after Words. We picked up our rental car. We stopped at Whole Foods to grab like a few things because our apartment, we're doing like an Airbnb, has a kitchen, which is absolutely amazing. So we picked up a few things, snacks and breakfast items. And yeah, we went out to dinner last night too. We found like, surprisingly, there was still a place open. It took a second to find a place that was actually still open, but the place that we found, oh, my gosh their tacos were absolutely incredible like i don't remember the last time i ate something maybe chipotle <laughs> where i was like oh my god this is so good and i just kept saying it over and over and over again so first impression so far of the food is very very good but yeah it's about 10 30 a.m today and we just went to the abc store picked up some spf gotta get that sunscreen some water shoes and a floaty and we are on our way to Wailea 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 I think so it's our first official day exploring and actually seeing Maui during the day too and I mean it's gorgeous it was like pitch dark yeah. last night <laughs> which is so funny so let's go ahead and get to Wailea and I guess we'll we'll explore together I'm so excited we're in Hawaii <laughs> Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to do? No, you couldn't stand tall. So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by. But I think about you, about you all the time. It's so windy. We're walking around Grand Wailea Resort. Yep. Super pretty. How much do you think this is a night? How much what? Do you think this is a night? Uh, $800. Yeah, I think it's something like that. Free. Wow, was that? It's really pretty. You guys, I got attacked by the sand. It's everywhere. It's super windy right now. Well, not this exact minute, but it was. <laughs> back from the sunset and I totally forgot to film it but of course there will be plenty of more sunsets to come but I might as well just show you the view from the condo that we're staying at it has like a partial view of the ocean you can hear the air conditioning right now and then you can see parking as well but it's fine I don't mind it here's the view we are officially off to dinner it's kind of dark out so Luckily, I think the light's okay, but we're gonna try out Lava Rock Bar and Grill. We looked at this menu and it looked really good. Um, these places are pretty busy, so we'll see if 
we end up sticking with it and eating there or I mean it all just kind of depends on what the weight looks like but yeah super excited to go eat it is 7 30 right now <clears throat> we what did we do earlier well we got back from Wailea and the shops and everything we kind of just like relaxed I finished editing the video that's gonna be going up tomorrow which is like my packing for Hawaii got that uploaded we just kind of like rested for a couple of hours essentially went and watched the sunset and then here we are off to dinner and I love that my makeup it's pretty much non-existent I just put some like bronzer on some concealer my eyebrows redid that my lips and mascara so I've been loving it it took me like five minutes <laughs> Day two, or technically third day in Maui. Second, second full morning. day. Yeah, second morning. We are heading down to another beach. We're just gonna keep it local. We decided for yesterday and today, meaning just sticking around like where we're staying, which is- South Maui. Well, South Maui, but Kihei? Kihei, Kihei but- I'm terrible at pronouncing all these. But anyway, this is yeah, South Maui. South Maui. And um, we're gonna go down to McKenna Beach. That's right, right? We think it is, if I remember the last time I looked. It's like Wailea McKenna Beach. Um, so we're gonna go down there <clears throat> today, hang out, see what's around there, see what we get up to. And then definitely Saturday and Sunday, we're gonna go to West Maui. And then Monday, we're gonna do the road to Hana. So definitely a lot of exciting things coming. I'm so excited to just like continue exploring and stuff. Today is gonna be hot. I think it was like 90 degrees the last time I looked. And it looks less cloudy today too. I already put like one layer of SPF on and then I'll do another layer when we get to the beach. You guys, I already burned. <laughs> Let me show you. It's like I clearly missed a spot and it's every time I look at it I just like laugh so hard. So here's my little burn. You can see where like my fingers were. I was planning on coming back to this section after I put SPF everywhere else because this was full of sand but then I forgot to come back to it so completely my fault. Oh so funny and then this guy over here just naturally dark skin so He's not gonna burn. Yeah. Although his face got a little burnt, but his fault that he forgot to put SPF on it. We won't miss that today. He's super talkative, obviously. You guys Where know that. Yeah. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. We got hit by like, or I did because one was in the water. I got hit by like four sandstorms. And then the waves are so aggressive that Juan had to help me get out there and I just pretty much, what, dunked myself and had to get all the sand everywhere off. My full face was covered in sand, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, you should have taken a picture. <laughs> he came back and he was like, what happened? Your face is covered in sand, you're like eating it. And I was like, yeah, I know, I got hit by sandstorms. <laughs> I'm holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing. What a beach day. What a beach day. What a beach day. McKenna Beach, A++. I recommend going. There's certain sections that have like aggressive waves. Other parts are really good um, to like more calm. We had like some clouds coming over that gave us some shade. We had like really intense heat too. I feel like I might be burnt even though I legit lathered up SPF 50 like five times. Um, 
water was amazing, super like warm. So at McKenna Beach, there are two beaches. There's the main McKenna Beach, which they call is the big beach. And then they have a small beach as well. The small beach comes first when you're driving to it from the north to the south. And then you get to McKenna Beach as well. But the two beaches do connect. But in order to get to one to the other, there's like a rock thing that you have to walk over, like climb up and walk over really pretty because it has like a really pretty view so anyways we started over at the big beach and walked over to the small beach over like this rock and little did we know <laughs> the small beach is a nudity beach <laughs> so a little taken by surprise to see it so if you do end up going to this beach just know that the little beach is a nudity beach if that's your thing go for it there you go it actually says no nudity but everyone was nude <laughs> anyway very interesting but yeah I'm kind of sunned out at the moment and it is two o'clock and we are about to go get some lunch we're thinking acai bowls so we're going to like this place up north on the south side of Maui that's called wow wow lemonade what is it called yep is that it? Why do I feel like that name sounds really familiar? Like we have one in the Seattle area. Maybe. I don't know. But we're gonna go there and check it out. I'm excited because I'm starving. <laughs> Change of plans. The acai place was out of acai and smoothies. <laughs> so we went back to our condo that we're staying at. We just washed all the sand and stuff off and we got ready because the place that we want to go to is like this pizza place. I forget the name of it, I'll put it on the screen. But we're gonna go there instead, but it opens at 3 p.m. and it's now 3.15, so we had a little bit of extra time, so we just figured we'd stop home and get the sand and stuff off of our bodies. So now I'm officially starving. How hungry are you? Seven. You're a seven? I feel like I'm like an eight and a half. Like I'm not to the point where I'm hangry, but I had my moment like mm -hmm. 20 Deba minutes ago. Debatable. Debatable. I hope it's good. It, their claim is that they have the best pizza in Maui. We'll be the judge of that. <laughs> So the pizza was actually pretty damn good and the breadsticks were super delicious and then afterwards we walked over to the beach watched the surfers i didn't film any of that they weren't really doing anything and then we needed a little bit of a pick-me-up so picked up some juice juice is you guys so good it's like papaya strawberries bananas and mango juice mm -mm. super Super good.
Lahaina and we're on our way back to the condo right now. Thoughts on Lahaina so far? Lahaina's in West Maui. And we went to like, was it Whalers Village? Whalers Village. Yeah, Whalers Village. There's tons of shopping there. We walked like the beach walk with all like the hotels and everything too. Um, we did that all first and then we had lunch and then we ended up laying out on the beach. You guys, I got hit with another sandstorm. I don't know what it is about Maui and the sand. I'm very much over it. Like I just get covered in sand and it kind of hurts, honestly. What are your thoughts on Lahaina? I really like it, it's really nice. Do we want to come back tomorrow? Could be, I mean if we can go north or can do something else, I don't know. Yeah. Cause is there, I'm sure there's more to see in Lahaina than just Whaler's Village and like that area, right? Maybe? But that is like all the village. Uh, uh -huh. We can go to the, I don't know, it's called downtown Lahaina. Yeah. Okay. What do you want to do tonight? Sushi. You want sushi tonight? Okay. We've been talking about sushi for a few days. I think we just like, we need to find like a really good sushi place. I think that's what's kind of stopping us, right? We needed to do some research on a good sushi place in Maui. So we'll keep you posted if we find one. But yeah, I mean, our vacation's pretty chill. We're like planning it as we go or like the day before. So I like that vibe. Yeah, I don't plan much. No. Juan is not a planner at all. So the fact that we're even planning like the night before is like a big thing. <laughs> but I like it because like with vacations for me, I like to go with the flow. I don't like to like have things too planned out. Like I like to chill. I love the beach. Juan loves the beach and he's all about just snorkeling. So then I just like tan. And then every once in a while I'll make an appearance and I'll go in the water and stuff. But yeah, it's been, it's been very enjoyable thus far. Back at the condo, I just got out of the shower and it was like the best shower of my life. <laughs> Dramatic, I know, but it's like, you know the feeling when you were at the beach all day and you just have like the sand and the sunscreen and the heat and everything. It just like feels amazing to like wash it away. I feel super refreshed and then I finally washed my hair too after a couple of days of like all of uh, the sea salt in it. It was definitely, definitely a time. I put like this uh, Bum Bum Bumble cream in it that's meant for like air drying your hair. I really, really enjoy it. So I figured I might end up doing that. Sun is setting and we're definitely gonna do sushi tonight between like two places that we're gonna go to. Juan is in the shower now. And yeah, we're just gonna chill. I think it's like 6.30 right now. We're not gonna go to dinner till like eight or so. Um, so I figured I would take the opportunity to show you a few things that I've picked up so far. I picked up a few like Hawaii, Maui type of shirts, and then finally unboxing the Prada purse. I haven't even used it yet. It's still like wrapped up from when I purchased it a couple of days ago. So let's unbox it and let's show you it. Ah! So first things first, I love this company Malibu shirts. They also have it in Honolulu, but they have like the best type of shirts. Like I love the quality of these shirts. They're pretty close to like what I'm wearing now, like the Comfort Colors brand in terms of like thickness and stuff. And these hold up super well over time. I have a couple from a couple of years ago that I got in Honolulu. So I was excited to pick up more. So I got just like a Hawaii shirt with a surfboard and then it has the same thing on the back, but in big. I thought that this was like, really cute good just casual nighttime t-shirt same with this one i love the tones of this one let's open it up here so it's like a maui soda shirt and then the back of it is so cute so this is what the back of it looks like but yeah very happy with these i got them in a size small next up is the prada purchase oh you guys i've been wanting to get this purse for so long and in Hawaii, they have discounts on most of their designer goods. It's like a special 
agreement that designers have with Hawaii where they can charge anywhere between like 10 to 25% off I think on a lot of like these luxury brands so I ended up getting this I think 10% off of retail what it would have been in the US and then on top of that you have to think about tax so tax in the Seattle area is I think it's like 10% or a little above 10% and Hawaiian taxes are like four four and a half percent so definitely saved there too I had them wrap it all up oh this is so pretty oh my god I love this let's see if I can do this one-handed okay I had to set it down for a second so this is the beautiful purse that I got so it's like the re-edition nylon the 2005 if i'm not mistaken but i love this one in particular because it can be worn in multiple ways so it can be like a shoulder bag like this but it also has a strap that i think she tucked inside of here here we go she actually tucked it into a separate bag so this is just like a crossbody strap that you could attach to this so it can be like crossbody bag which is my favorite type of bag i just love not being able to like mess with it especially if this light slides off your shoulder but for nighttime like love 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 this and i love the chain too because i feel like it just elevates it a bit and i love the stainless detail as well because i feel like all of my purses have gold so i feel like this was a nice change of pace for me especially with it being black my other prada purse is like a beige color so i just really wanted a classic black and it just like has so much space in it too i'm thoroughly impressed with this and then this by itself could also be worn as a belt she said so that would be very interesting and this can come off too if um if that isn't your thing which i might end up doing that um as well but anyways super super in love another prada purse to add to my collection this was a birthday gift Juan helped to purchase this as well and i'm just very very excited i'm so glad that they had it in stock i honestly didn't think that they were going to so now i'm just going to chill start getting ready a little bit i'm just going to do like super light makeup like i did the other day with just like eyebrows a little bit of concealer bronzer and maybe like mascara a little bit of lip that's pretty much it definitely need to cover this new friend that's on my face over here the sun is setting actually let me show you the sunset from our condo but yeah super chill nights no complaints here. Good morning. We are back at the car. Today's the day that we're doing Road to Hana. I'm excited. Are you excited? Yes. <laughs> we haven't planned out too many things. We're kind of just gonna go with the flow. We're just gonna be spontaneous to like make stops and stuff like that. I have heard that they have banana bread <laughs> on this trip, on like this road at, at like a stand and it has like the best banana bread. So I'm gonna be on the lookout for that and I'm definitely going to buy that. But I think our first stop is gonna be at the bamboo forest and then we'll see what else we get into. The Black Sand Beach, as of like a few months ago, it's reservations only and when we looked it up a couple of days ago, it was sold out for today. The next available day was like Wednesday, which is the day that we're leaving. So we're not gonna go to like the traditional Black Sand Beach that's I guess famous in Maui. There are a few others that are like black sand, but I guess not the blackest of sand, but we're gonna go in and um, find that one instead. But anyways, should be good. Do you have any expectations for Rotohana? Top fun, sunny day, good views, that's it. That's it? Yeah. Have you heard anything of like expectations that you're expecting to like see? I feel like the, the roads are gonna be windy. Do you think that the temperature over there is going to be like wildly different than on this side? No. Totally. Really? I heard that it's more like moist. <laughs> more humid? Like, like, um, not necessarily more humid, just it has like, it's more wet. Okay. Meaning more humid? Sure. If you want to take it that way. I'm not meaning it to be more humid, but, um, Oh, we 
we're just gonna go to Hana and then like turn around? Is that like the turnaround point? I think so, yeah. Okay. Alright. Well. I mean, we can stay in Hana. I have no idea what. Yeah, I have no idea what's there. Hopefully, there's good, like, I'm expecting like a city of some sort where they have like restaurants and stuff. Again, I haven't looked it up at all, so. I asked Diego because I thought he recommended me a place. Okay. But then he told me that the recommendation that he had was at the volcano, not at the Hana. And he said that in Hana he had food in a food truck. Okay. So, so there's probably a lot of food trucks, maybe? Yeah. Okay. I, I don't know what to expect. Me know. either. That's what, I think that's what's so fun about this. I don't, don't want to look it up. Either. Yeah, I don't either. I just kind of like, I want to go with the flow. I just like want to stop when we want to stop or try things when we want to try things. I don't know. I think that's fun that way. Bamboo forest. We made it to the bamboo forest. There's not really a clear trail of any sorts, but this is fun. I mean, there is a clear trail. They are like south and almost a success we finally found a place that was open that was selling banana bread but then they were sold out of banana bread they had the chocolate chip banana bread but I want the original I'm holding out so let's cross our fingers the hunt continues from the road to Hana. So glad to be back. That is such a long trip. For some reason, I was thinking it was gonna be three hours round trip, but it was like three hours to get to Hana. Um, so 
so yeah it's like after 6 30 p.m right now the sun is setting it's looking pretty gorgeous let me of course show it i can't look at it and not show you guys <laughs> i feel like that's mean i didn't end up finding any banana bread which i'm so sad about but that's fine i guess i don't absolutely need it we just um when we got to hana we just like ate at a restaurant we ate a pretty late lunch like at 3 30 and then we just headed back you guys it is super curvy there was like 6,000 curves in that road it was making me kind of like motion sick but definitely fun we are leaving for wahoo on wednesday today is monday and I figured for tomorrow, since I need to actually get a video uploaded for my Tuesday upload, um, I'm just gonna go ahead, end the vlog here, upload this video for Maui, enjoy tomorrow, just Juan and I, no vlogging, and then start the vlogs right back up again with the Oahu vlog. But if you guys have any questions for me about Maui, feel free to leave any questions down below in the comments. I'm thinking that when I get to Oahu, I'm actually going to film like a little mini get ready with me to upload on Friday. Um, Cause I want to have like a full Oahu vlog ready to go before I upload it. So a video in between, I figured I can do like a little get ready with me in Hawaii and then answer any questions that you guys have. So if you guys have any questions, shoot them down below. I can answer those questions in that video. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed the Maui vlog and the Maui trip. It was so much fun here. Definitely recommend coming to Maui. And I guess I'll just see you guys in a couple of days in the next video. Bye guys, love you guys.